Hey YouTube, in this video I'll be altering uh, electrical components from a product, uh, in this case a drill from Harbor Freight. And think of it as just ideas for you to go off of. I'm not an expert. I'm doing this at my own risk, so you will be too. With that said, let's go to the video. Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a little video here. Uh, I'm trying to find an easier way to connect and disconnect my small CPU fans. So I went and bought this drill. I'm going to use the drill for something else, but I'm going to use this power battery charger to try and make it easier. I'm going to put a connection inside of it so I can plug it in and out. But the drill's only $17. So I went to Radio Shack and bought it's a size M coaxial DC power jack. It's the panel mount. Uh, here it is right here. And I'm going to try to install this. So I can plug. Here's the male part. It's a size M coaxial DC plug. Same same size but here's the drill I'm going to take this apart and try to make a auger for my rocket stove for rocket stove my pellet stove so it comes with this battery and what I want to do is put a connector I'm going to drill a hole inside this. I already took this apart. There's a couple screws in this part here and that, that comes out. So I'm going to weld a or solder a couple more wires onto here and then drill a hole through here. Mount this so when I have the battery connected to this, this battery slides it slides on top like that. I should be able to plug in these, just be able to easily plug it in and out, these coaxial cables here. There's four screws holding the whole, the bottom together. I already took them out. And when you take it apart, just remember how you took it apart. It's pretty simple. This plate slides back and forth. There's a couple springs that hook on to that, which hold the resistance to the cover there. That's pretty much it. There's not much to it. So what I'm going to do now is try and drill a hole. And I'm going to put it right through the end here. Okay, I got the female side in. It is a 7 16 inch hole I drilled. I put it down lower in between the, where those other screw holes were. The insides looks like that, so I'm going to solder the positive and negative. Positive, I'm going to solder to the center. Run the, and I'm going to run it up through here and hook one positive and negative to these two flat pieces of steel here that connect to the battery. What you want to do, you need to get one of these helping hand deals from Harbor Freight they're pretty cheap so you can see it helps out a lot when you're trying to solder joints but I got the negative wire soldered now I'm going to do the positive and I got see how this helping hand right here helps hold stuff while you're soldering okay I got the water wires soldered on and I pushed them down through 
and out the back for now. I cut them off about six inches long. We got this little plastic cover. This just slides right on here. Like so. You gotta put that on. There it is right there. Put that all the way up. And then we have this little piece here. And it shows you the... I don't know if you can see it, but... It shows the positive and negative. There's positive and negative side. Of course, my positive's on the left. Negative's on the right. And that piece goes right down on top of these two bars as you can see it's kind of a little tricky getting it on there's a couple little notches that it has to set right in I think we got a side shot of that but anyway there's a couple little notches in them bars so I'll set that on top right now and then there's two screws that go in to them holes right there and through the top of the piece I'll do that the way you get this on is you have to hold these two pins on the side of this top piece and then slide it down in that's the only way it goes back it's just like that they're towards the outside the pins are towards the outside of that plastic piece so when you slide it in you have to hold it onto that top piece to get it in I'll put the two screws in top here you can put this plastic piece on after you get all this done it's a little bit easier so put all this together first then slide this plastic piece the arrow points towards you and it just goes right in like this Actually, the arrow points away from you, sorry, if you're holding it this way, if you're looking at the pins. So when you flip it over, you can see it slides back and forth. And this is where you'll, those two springs will hook. One will hook right. One end of the spring will hook here, and the other one will hook right here on this post. I'll hook that up. You can see how I got that hook. It, the springs have little loops and they just loop right over so it's pretty easy. So if you flip it over the other way it looks like this. And then when you slide the battery in it just helps hold the battery in. Okay we got that. Now let's get to wiring the other part of this. Okay, what I did, I just temporarily put the bottom on and ran the wires out my hole I drilled for my female connection. When you're putting this top onto the bottom where this seam is here, you have to hold this plastic thing back a little while you're putting it together or it won't go together. I figured that one. But took me a while to figure that out, but that's how you got to do it. Now I'm going to solder on my female piece to these wires. I have them sticking out about three inches. And I'll be able to push that in. I'll back up a little bit. Make sure you put this washer and nut on the wire before you solder it. So I'm going to put the washer and nut and then I'm going to run it through and put these two pieces back together. Run the wire through the hole there and then solder it. Okay, we've got the female soldered on. I'm going to push the wires back into the hole and then take it apart and put the washer and nut. It's going to thread onto this female here to hold it in. Okay, we got soldered, we got the wires in and the nut nice and tight and there's what it looks like on the outside. So now we can plug in 
plug into it and it's just a handy little deal. Here's what it looks like with the battery slid on. The battery just slides right into those two pins. And so now I'll have this just to run my small CPU fans and whatever any other. This is an 18 volt battery, but you can run the 12 volt fans off of it. They'll just run a little faster until the battery wears down a little bit. And so now it's a charger and I can hook stuff up to it for my little 12 volt project. It's just a lot easier to move around. Here's the mail end. I'll hook something up to it here and show it on the video. Okay, I just have this temporarily wired to this fan here, but as you can see, it's working great, and it's just so much easier to plug and unplug. What I'm going to do, I think, is put a little, and what you guys could do is put a switch on there too, an on-off switch, so that way, I'll put it right below here, you could turn it on and off. Is all you do is splice that into the positive wire so it disconnects the power. There you go, YouTube. On to the next project. Thanks for watching.